What is the crack lads and welcome back to another video on the channel. So a lot of people have been asking me to do these videos weekly when the new live update changes and a bit of a kind of, I don't know, kind of like a, a recap or an update on what players are fully up. Now the best way that I would do this obviously is to go over to eFootballDB.com and you're going to go to the players, you click on this button here, you click on search filters and you go down here to the condition which is in the basic settings menu, go down here to the condition and then you're going to choose A to A. So this will just basically filter every single player that is being updated to A form. If you want to include B form, which are quite good as well, you can do that as well. But for today, we are going to be focusing on players that are that are on A form, right? So I'm going to have a pick of a couple of mine. As you can see there, Lewandowski, Messi, Son, Haaland, all the way down, as you can see here, to the likes of Pedro, Smalling. And obviously, when a player has got unwavering form and they are on a form it is better because as i said in my previous video if it is up yet i'm not too sure if it's updated yet but um or if it's uploaded yet sorry lads uh, the unwavering form means that you kind of like increase your chance of a player having a fully up form arrow so you can actually do this here if we go into ability settings and we go down here to the bottom and we click this up to three so from here, we are going to now have all these players here have been filtered to include players that are just on A form with the player update. And all these players here on the list also have unwavering form, which is the best player form that they can have so that their form arrows are going to be more up than not. So if you can litter your team with guys that are on A form, you are going to get an advantage because you're going to be getting all those stat boosts to your players if they are on fully farm arrows up. Like, for instance, you can get plus two or three for most of your stats. So, you know, the likes of Haaland will go from a plus, you know, say he might have 92 finishing, he'll go to like a 94 finishing if you've got a fully farm arrow up. So my picks for the week ahead, if you are looking to recycle your team and you're looking to update your team with players that are just A form, we're going to start off with David. Obviously, he is on A form. Absolute beast of a player. He's got 37 levels to go. And even just giving a quick little uh, update. Now, I know the lads are working on a more user-friendly interface for this there's a big uh, redesign of this database coming up um so i know we've heard they've heard a lot of feedback and i've passed on a lot of feedback of making it a little bit easier to use but looking up here his stats right even if you just give him 10 10 and 10 for dribbling and then you can even also give him nearly 10 for his uh his shooting like that is unbelievable the player that you're going to get there so he's going to have 81 finishing 89 speed 88 acceleration and apologies lads i have a bit of a cold so i, I sound a bit nasally 82 ball control and he is on that a form and uh, he has unwavering form as well so he's on the a player rating uh next up we've got rodrigo i've been using rodrigo for a while i think he's absolutely insane he's one of the best wingers that i've used in the game he is on a form as well really really good player for seventy thousand gp if you're looking to get somebody you know that's quite cheap literally just play a couple of the events if you want to uh, get rodrigo next up we've got pedri one of my favorite players in the game i would say in eFootball 2022 he was potentially top five player in the game and i think since eFootball 23 he does get shoved around a little bit, even though he has nice balance. His physical contact is quite low. But again, this guy is absolutely insane stats. He's kind of like Iniesta in his prime when you max out his rating. And if you do have this version of him as well, his club edition, absolutely insane as well, which was part of the club pack uh, that were released for Barcelona. Really, really good player. He's also got a player of the week edition as well. Um, but yeah, the standard version is very, very decent. You can have decent acceleration, unbelievable passing brilliant dribbling and pretty much he you know he's the full package in midfield and he's only 150,000 gp we've also got valverde obviously featured as a player of the week player this week as well he can play multiple positions absolute beast got some brilliant player skills brilliant player stats we've got kunde one of the best i would say top five defenders in the game at the moment along with van dyke rudiger up in meccano and possibly koulibaly or else marquinhos um if I'm missing anyone, obviously Alaba is there as well. Probably them five or six are the, the meta ones at the moment. Really, really good. Can get an insanely high defensive awareness. If we just boost up his awareness here, we can take a quick look. If we're just going to pump in as much as we possibly can pump in to defend it, we don't really need to worry too much about his acceleration. Just give him a couple there. And then obviously boost that up. 
We're going to have 76 acceleration, 93 defensive awareness, and that is a key stat. All these players, as I said, are on a farm. Next up, we've got DePaul. This guy is a bit of a monster. I've seen a lot of people use him lately, mostly because he's always on good form lately. He seems to be having a good season. Donnarumma, probably the best keeper in the game. He's definitely one I think that you guys should get. He is pricey, but he is, I think, in my opinion, the best goalie in the game. And then we've got Haaland. Haaland is probably the best player that you guys should be putting in your team this, this year or this week if you do have him you know he's he's unreal and i think he is top five player since after uh the, the efootball 2023 update i think before his balance and his stamina was an issue that doesn't seem to be the issue now at all for him uh brilliant speed brilliant finishing just be seems to be able to score for fun anywhere in real life and in eFootball as well. We've got Son, one of the best players in eFootball 2022. I don't think he's reached the heights of 2023 yet, but some people swear by him. I've had mixed experiences with Son, but yeah, he definitely is an absolute monster as well. All of these players are. And then rounding us off, we have got Messi, who is on A form, and we have got Lewandowski, who is on A form. Lewandowski, let me know what you guys think of Lewandowski, because he's one that has been scoring a lot of goals for me lately when I've been simming games against the AI to do the events um but i never seem to be able to play with him i always seem to prefer playing with romario or Haaland or somebody like that so as i said lads what you guys will want to do and this is my squad that i will be using for the week ahead you guys we also have salaba there as well which is his player of the week from a couple of weeks ago um in the team and we have Kimmich as well who we didn't feature there and De Jong so Kimmich and De Jong are also A form this week and then the rest of the team are B so I've got my legend Neymar my legend Maldini Carlos and then that's it pretty much so the only B, t B players that I have are also on unwavering form so yeah it looks like a very 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 strong side so as I said lads if you are new to the game and you're looking to get an advantage have as many players as you possibly can with a form you can check it very very easily as i showed at the start of the video over on efootballdb.com by filtering out whatever you want to do and again b player forms are, are as good as well but i definitely do recommend that you guys try and get as many a players in as possible and then on the bench i also have full of b's right so we've got romario Vieira. i've got a couple on the bench if i wanted to switch things around in my reserves i have a couple of other guys there on a form obviously i've got three versions of or two versions of Lewandowski. i could slot him in and then later down we've got Cancelo. he is worth a punt as well absolute unbelievable right back in the game one of the best the pie is there uh jesus is there a couple of spurs players are there um so yeah it seems to be a nice batch of players this week that have got some nice player form so that is it for me lads we will be back quite soon hope you enjoyed the video let me know if you enjoy these because a lot of people have been asking me for a bit of an update in a, a quick video maybe five or six minutes i know this is a bit longer than normal but yeah let me know if you guys enjoyed this video i will talk to you later peace